on Storyboard today, the Abbey Super Jury junks all complaints. We examine the impact of this decision. Why brands are experimenting with long duration commercials. And why this campaign is on notice board. Hello and welcome to Storyboard. I am Pavni Mittal sitting in for Naomi Datta. For nearly three weeks now, we have been reporting on the mess that followed this year's Goa Fest. There was mudslinging and allegations of scam and plagiarism that resulted in the withdrawal of eight medals. Last week, a super jury was created to look into complaints against at least 10 Abbey winners. But in a cop-out, it has decided to not only take no action on these complaints, but also to restore awards to BBDO and DDB Mudra. Before we go into how this will impact the industry, Animesh Das gets you the lowdown behind the saga. In hindsight, it all began with these three ads created by JWT India. Created solely for the purpose of winning awards, these ads put Ford on the road to global embarrassment, led to the exit of JWT creative honcho Bobby Pavar, as well as a senior level Ford marketing executive, and most importantly, brought back the spotlight on the prevalence of scam advertising. Two weeks later, the issue refused to die down at the 8th annual Goa Fest. The winners were overshadowed by the controversies, beginning with the awards being boycotted by Ogilvy and Creative Land Asia, while Low Lintas continued their position of staying away. Second Silver Office, Leo Burnett, Tata Soul, please come back to collect this award. But what really grabbed headlines was Leo Burnett's decision to return the two golds and two silvers it had won for the Tata Salt Light radio spots, when it was discovered that the spots were in fact scams. This led to an unprecedented series of complaints to the Abbey Award Governing Council, bringing around 10 award-winning entries under the scanner. BBDO India's ads for DHL Express and DDB Mudra's work for Electrolux washing machines were allegedly plagiarized, drawing comparisons to work done by Ogilvy Hong Kong and YNR Sao Paulo for LG washing machines. Their awards were also withdrawn. Plagiarism complaints were also received against McCann World Group India's Grand Prix winning work for active total security systems and Leo Burnett's work on Coke Studio. Work done for tight detergents by Leo Burnett, as well as McCann's work for Perfetti's Big Bubble were also brought under scrutiny. To address these complaints, the AGC decided to constitute a super jury, comprising jury chairs from all the 11 categories within the creative abbeys. Their decision backed by the AGC stated that none of the complaints would be entertained as there had been enough time given between the shortlisting of entries and the final judging for feedback and objections of any kind to be raised. This means that all awards given will stand, thereby reinstating the awards given to BBDO India and DDB Mudra. But the question remains, how do we tackle the issue of plagiarism and scam advertising which has cast a dark cloud on the credibility of the Abbeys? Over to Storyboard's editor, Anant Rangaswamy, who discusses the AGC's decision with Vikisha Mehta of Guava Creative Solutions and Shormishta Mukherjee of Rickshaw Advertising. The saga of Goa Fest doesn't seem to end. Each day it gets murkier and murkier. The biggest agencies in the country have got caught either copying or doing scam work. Some of them should have lost medals, they haven't thanks to a decision taken by the Awards Governing Council of the Goa Fest. To discuss this issue with me, I've got two young entrepreneurs. Uh, both are women, both run their own communications companies, and both earlier have worked with the largest names in the business. I've got Shurmishta Mukherjee, who runs an agency called Rickshaw, and I've got Vikisha Mehta, who runs her own agency called Guava. We're going to talk to them about what this means to them. Shurmishta. Yes. So tell me, what do you think of this whole mess? I stopped going like about uh, two or three years back. Ever since I started Rickshaw, I haven't gone to Goa Fest. Why, why haven't you gone? Because I think uh, as a festival, it's really irrelevant. Right. Um, who does a rain dance anymore? Sorry. But I mean, you know, um, people go there, they get drunk, uh, they network. Who networks anymore? I mean, seriously. I mean, if but you what really... What the awards been? I was in the jury for two years. And let's just say I don't have a lot of faith in the jury or the awards. Right. Um, I know a lot of young people want to go because they think it's a great chance 
to see eh, their work up there, to meet other young people, to drink, to have a good time. But uh, I know that my clients want, uh, for them it's not the award that's important, it's whether I can really make a difference to their business or to their brand. Right. So also I, I would prefer to go to a festival like Unbox or I would prefer to go to a festival like uh, Design Yatra because I think I learn a lot more, I think my people will learn a lot more. Um, these are festivals that don't just talk advertising but talk larger things. Right. Um, so I, I don't find it relevant at all and uh, I'm sorry I don't believe in awards, I don't believe in scam awards. So. I really Rikisha, don't see the reason. You've been going to Goa Fest every single year. Yeah, the main thing to go there is to motivate your team to be up there someday. But now with the whole thing, I don't think... I mean, now in our organization, people say, okay, why don't we do scam anymore? Let's just start doing scam and not do real work. Right. Mm, my clients, yes, uh, we do uh, advertising that works for them. I mean, works for them in communication versus it's not that your client will call you up and say, hello, hey, the DNAD deadline is here, please do a scam ad. We don't have clients like that. Right. Yes, but our clients are well versed with these awards. With the given... Do clients ever ask you, have you won any awards and are they even bothered about it? Uh, no, really no. no. Uh, what about you, Shwami? So anybody ask no, you? No, no, never. Okay. Now, tell me some of the brands you're working with now. Okay, uh, we handle uh, uh, Talwalkar's uh, mm -hmm. as uh, 180 gyms out of the country, which is right. a big retainer for us. Uh, they do believe in awards. I mean, uh, the client is an ex-agency uh, guy and uh, he does know. But during the course of work, if you can manage to build something really creative worth entering, then why not? But right. there it doesn't, it, the communication doesn't, okay, let's do something that can win awards. We don't take that approach, right. which I used to in my past organization. Right. Tell me, Vikisha, now with this, what is the impression you have of the biggest names in the business? You know, all of them have got caught, almost anyone. Yeah, I mean, Except them. for Ogilvy and Lowe, which didn't take part this year. Anybody who's taken part virtually has got caught. Yeah. So what, what, do you, what do you think of, of the biggest names in the business then? Uh, look, I really don't know. I have been a part of these big organizations in the past, actually. So, uh, I would not take any names per se, but yeah, sometimes work is really not done uh, as scam. It right. is real work. Unfortunately, this year that we see, I think all pieces were scam. The ratio has gone higher, right. you know, with Ogilvy and agencies like that participating, there is no scam. What about you, Shomishta? What do you think of the biggest names in the business now? It's very ostrich-like behavior. It's like if we bury our head in the sand, it never happened. I would really like, I mean, it's really sad. It's a festival for the industry. I really think there's so much that we could do with it. You know, I mean, like I said, look at Unbox, look at uh, Design Yatra. This is our own festival. But I think we need to acknowledge that there is a problem. And I think acknowledging and accepting that problem is the first step towards fixing right. it. Would but you I go, don't would see you go that next year if as things stand, would you go next year? No, no, I won't. Would you go vacation next year? No, I won't. Not yeah. after. I mean, I have. I was there. I had experienced it myself. Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't know if you both were there, but uh, I mean, there was nobody. There was not a single person I met. So, what do you, what do you think is the way forward? Uh, what What would make you go to Goa again next year, Shomista? If they acknowledge the problem and also if they open it up to a lot more people to come forward and say, how can we make this festival better? You know, there was something called the Goa project that happened sometime back in Goa where people just came and uh, on their site they put up what they would like to talk about and then they got voted and uh, that's how they found speakers. So you said if you were interested or not. I would really like Goa Fest to be about the people. Let people who work in advertising decide what speakers they want. Let them decide the course for Goa Fest now. I mean, a committee who sits and decides and does not know what people feel about it or does not acknowledge that is not going to help. Vikisha, do you think this year's edition of uh, the Abbeys has devalued the Abbeys? It will mean less to people who have won them genuinely with genuine work? I don't think those metals uh, matter anymore after. I mean, today if you just Google Goa Fest, I don't think there's any positives that you get. It's only the negatives uh, that you get. Will you uh, enter next year? Also? You, I don't you won't enter either? So, look, I, it's just finished. Let's uh, see <laughs> what happens. Let's see. I mean, it's such hot news. I don't know when it's going to get colder. So what do you think about the jury itself? No, I think she made a really good point when she said, I don't even know the jury. I really think transparency is going to go a long way in keeping this festival alive and making it relevant. I think people would like to know how is the jury selected, you know, how, who selects this jury. Um, so, 
these are things when most festivals now across the world are really transparent. I mean, people are even putting up their accounts. You know, when they have a festival after that, they even put up. And I would really like to know. I would really like to know all these things. So I think that's the only way forward, to be more transparent, to let people have a say. Well, that's uh, the situation today in a nutshell. You've got two people who've repeatedly gone to Goa, who see no reason to go there again. Uh, Vikisha used to enter her entries in the awards and will not do so next year. Neither has any intention of going anywhere near Goa, unless it's cleaned up. <laughs> and I think that's the writing on the wall for the organizers of Goa Fest. The mess is bigger than they think it is. Thank you, Vikisha. Yeah. Thank you, Sharmishta. Thank, Thank you. There's no doubt that the Abbey's has taken a beating and there is a lot of repair work the organizers need to do. Let's take a quick break here on Storyboard. Coming up ahead, why brands are experimenting with long TV commercials.